That's a huge mistake. You only break the grip when the grip is deep here. Now, even if the grip is here, it's still dangerous for the choke. So let's say I'm here with Eduardo. I'll push him like I'm gonna sweep. He's gonna push me back. And then I'll break it in. And I'll put his head right there. Pointing my palm and my elbow up. Now, Eduardo's gonna try to post it up. I'll keep skipping my hip. Till he tap. Once the loop choke is connected, it's really hard to escape guys. With someone with a good grip, it's gonna be hard for you guys to escape. That's why it's so important you don't let your opponent feel comfortable with the grip on the collar. Okay? Alan can tell you. So, every time you're here, uh, you have to look for breaking his balance. Uh, I used to do that a lot. When I'm here, both grips on the collar, and I wait to the right moment, working here. And then when my opponent uh, forget about, I'll pull him with my leg and my arm at the same time. So, when I pull, I break his collar, and I do the loop choke. So get loose a little bit, okay? Try different ways. <laughs> you can do from the knee cut, uh, let your opponent sweep you, connect your guard, close your guard, your half guard, pass your leg over, uh, and do a couple chokes from the close guard too, okay? Talk with each other about the grip, how to break the posture. Uh, you can grab the head and bring it down to go to the choke. You can grab both hands on the call, pull down and go for the loop choke. Try to see the best way to connect this choke, the way that you feel more comfortable. Okay? Any questions? What? Are you choking with the back of the hand? No. Uh, the choke, when you do this, this part of the, the head is going to press against the neck. Uh, when you have the grip here, it goes here, and this part is going to force the neck. The other hand is just a support to keep his head there. Okay? Let's go. Hands up. One, two.